Okay, Saturday morning, Buzz Radio. I'll tell you what, we're definitely buzzing at the moment. Definitely buzzing. Got a special guest in the building this morning. I'm so glad that she's made it down. Um, looking very radiant on a Saturday morning. Saturday morning. I'm telling you, looking fresh on a Saturday morning. Who have we got in the building this morning? Rita Ora. Rita What's Ora. up? What's Hi. going on? Nothing, you know, hanging out. Good morning. How you doing? Nice to have you here. Thank you. you. Know what I mean? Thank you. I mean, you know what? This is this is a surprise. I wasn't expecting this. Oh, why not? I wasn't expecting this. Well, you know, got a new song coming out. You got to do the runs. I, I mean, exactly. See exactly. what I mean? And, um, you know what I mean? You know, thank you for having me. No problem. So listen, this is the first time you've come to Buzz. First time I've interviewed I know. you. Yeah. And um. I love Buzz. I, I, you love Buzz? Yeah. Are we buzzing? We're buzzing. Are we buzzing like proper buzzing? We're buzzing like a buzz buzz. buzz. That's what I'm talking about. Now, the thing is, right, I want to break it all down quickly. I know we haven't got a long time. Okay, okay. But just give them a little, just a little history. Okay. Because I know people are like, yeah, but where's she come from? What How nationality is she? Right. How did she get into music? I don't know nothing about her. Yeah, yeah. And I want them to really know this morning. Okay, cool. Not everything, but you know what I'm saying. How long we got? Just keep all going. Right. I just keep going. Just okay, keep going. So, so from the start. From the start. From the start. Came from West London, Grove, sung in some pubs. At the age of 14, I got signed and dropped. At the age of 16, I got signed and dropped. At the age of 18, I got signed to Rock Nation. And that's really what I needed. I did a Craig David record back in the day called Where's Your Love with Tinchy Strider. Oh God, that's going back. Then we did the MOBO Awards. And then from then on, I kind of uh, re-signed my deal to Rock Nation. And then I released my first song, um, Hot Right Now with DJ Fresh. Um, that was actually off my impulse because record label wanted to hold off until my own record comes out but I just loved Hot Right Now mm. and then R.I.P. comes out this is a really fast version no I love it I love it I'm I love from it. Kosovo um, and that's it you see, that, you see that information there is very vital I know because you know a lot of people have been speculating where's she from though I can't work I'm out I'm from where Kosovo she's from. people yeah. usually think I'm mixed but yeah. I take it all I don't mind yeah, okay Kosovo but I'm from mm. Kosovo moved to London when I was one and I grew up in West London my whole life Port Bella Road wow yeah. and that's a little breakdown yeah and here we are today and here we are are you tired today? already you look, you're tired, you're like, I'm not tired I just have a sore throat <laughs> <laughs> I know okay okay what have you learned so far, Rita, about this journey, about yourself? Um, a lot, actually. It's never mm. ending. I think this album is really going to show you and answer that question. But yeah. uh, I've learned a lot. I've learned about impulse reactions. I've learned about going with your gut. I've learned about instinct. I've learned about music. I've learned about um, just knowledge of fashion. I've like done a lot of research. Just kind of um, knowing. Knowledge is power. So for me, just to know what you're doing is really important. Mm. Is, it, is, is it easier or harder than you anticipated, this whole movement? Well, this movement, in the beginning, I was just so excited, you know. I'm like, yeah. what? Da, da, da. And then the first album came out, and my debut aura did so great, and I'm so happy and proud of it. And then we did a tour, and it was just major. And now with this second album, I haven't actually released an album for two years. Okay. So with this album, I'm like, okay, now I don't want to be different. I just want to be a bit more mature, a bit mm. more grown up, because I've grown since Aura my first record yeah. so you know it's not anything different it's just a more grown up version so when you say like you, you've more grown up what's changed about the content is it more love stories mm. reality stories what, what, what what's changed it's more reality stories it's more yeah. like oh that's what that means kind of vibe it's more like the people I've worked with are really I picked them on one hand it wasn't like everyone a free for all come and try and write a record I really condensed it down to like a really secret few people yeah um, and that was important for me. I wanted my album to have a consistency and I wanted it to be able to be performed in like 10 years, you know? Mm. I don't want to be bored of the songs I perform. I want to like make music that I know I like to sing in 10 years' time. With your new project coming up, yeah. what was the most challenging song for you to write? The most challenging song for me to actually... I actually didn't write it, I just sung it, but it was very challenging. Right. Um, it was the song that Ed Sheeran wrote for me um, because it was just so detailed I mean you know how Ed is yeah, it's yeah, so yeah. detailed Amazing and it's so like <clears throat> storytelling so I had to I had it in my emails for about I would say four months and three months until I recorded it yeah it was one of those songs where I had to keep listening and listening every time I tried to record it I was like not ready what was it about that song what was it um, love, is that a love song it's a love song but it's yeah. a happy love song sometimes mm. when you have love songs they're usually sad they're usually sad mm. you know but if you can find that formula to do a love song that's positive, you just hit the jackpot. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And because you're not downing people, you're just kind of giving them passion, but you're still talking about a sensitive subject, you know? Mm, mm. So 
I just kind of found it difficult to not tear up because it was such a beautiful song and it is and I can't wait for you guys to hear it. No, I'd love to. I'm looking forward to it. Now, the thing is, now, when when you're making music and obviously you're saying you wasn't really involved that much in the writing but the singing, yes. I was involved. You was involved? I was involved in the writing. There's just some songs <clears throat> that I don't I haven't written but okay. like, concept-wise, right. I was in the room sitting there. You have a lot of creative control over everything. Yeah, right? especially with yeah, this yeah. record because everyone's always tried to warn me about the second album syndrome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bit doing. Are you are you still a bit like yeah. where's this going? Yeah, because you know you have you don't have the expectations on the first record. You're mm. a new face. People don't have a judgment of you, and it's like boom. And then the second time round, it's like all right, now people know you, what you're really about. Yeah. So any things that you've looked back at so far and thought to yourself. You know, I shouldn't have done that. You know. Yeah. What? Well, like what? Give us some. Give us some examples. Ten men I've dated. <laughs> <laughs> so she's gonna start bringing up. Don't start bashing them this morning. You know? I'm not gonna bash them. It's a Saturday. Don't bash them this morning. Don't worry. Tomorrow's right? a holy day. I'm not starting. Because <laughs> you need them. You need them. You need. You em. need a man in your life. Yeah, it's not just about men. You just need them things to happen to you. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you make yourself stronger. Yeah. It's not about the man. It's about the situation. Yeah. If that's happened to you, then you know what you're doing next time round. And it's fair to say, I mean, last week your name was trending all over the place. Yeah. It was all over. I, I yeah. don't know what was going on. I don't. Either. And I said. Do you know what? She's in the building next week. So I'm going to talk to her. All right. Because well, I don't we... do hearsay. Okay, good. I don't know what we're going to talk about, but... The whole ASAP thing was like uh... all over the place. You know, I see the interviews and whatnot. So, I mean, what is the situation of that? Are you guys good friends or... The thing is, I haven't spoken about it for a reason. Yeah. So I'm just going to leave it alone. We'll leave it there this morning. We'll leave it there. Okay. Like can... I said... Yeah, 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 yeah. It's really about the music. Yeah. I don't get involved with the gossip. Yeah. I let the music sell itself. Yeah. I don't have a storyline for the music. Yeah. I just let it be and I just work on my own thing. Th that's fine. That's cool. If you've just locked in this morning, we've got Rita Aura in Hi. the building. She's here in living colours. Now, yeah. let's talk about something that I know that is very important to you. Fashion. Yes. Fashion, man, I'm telling you. So, what what look we got this morning, Rita? The blanket look. <laughs> no, I'm literally. <laughs> what I'm look wearing, we got here? I'm literally wearing a blanket. Yeah, I like but it. A dress, I like it. But a dress version. The dress matches the blanket. No, it's all attached. Oh, it's all attached. Yeah. Hold on a minute. Are you serious? Yeah, it's one dress. Oh wow, there's me thinking it was just wrapped. I didn't really look on you too tough. You understand? Yeah, no, you didn't need to. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> you cracked me up. <laughs> It's basically, it's basically the blanket dress. It's a blanket dress. No, we need to shot this for Instagram. Yeah, we Seriously, will, we, will. we need we to will. do that. Yeah. I'll stand up and give you a proper picture. Because <laughs> you know you got you got to sell it. Like I said, everything I wear, you just sell it. <laughs> I like it. I like it. How important is fashion to you? It's what, important. What? How? How? I'll important? tell you why. Because yeah. I make people laugh like you. Yeah, you do. You do. You do it's you all do. about making people happy, yeah, making yeah. yourself happy, selling what you are, who you are, and being that kind of 360 artist. Right now, you know, there's artists that use other things rather than just music to sell themselves. Like mm. I use visuals as much as I use music. You know. Yeah. So like my videos, my fashion, my designing, my campaigns. You know, things that I've got going on. This is all based because of my music. Is there a lot of people with yourself that make a lot of these decisions or is it all down to what have, you say at the end? I have a great team, but mm -hmm. at the end of the day, it's whether I want to do it or not, yeah. yeah. But like, you know, I'll get all the kind of, you want to do this, da 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 but then at the end of the day, I decide, yeah. Okay. What other pursuits outside of music um, have you like, you know, got yourself involved in like charity work and well, things like that? Have you done things like that? Yeah, I just literally hosted this charity I have in Kosovo about war, because, um, you know, we had war not, not even that long ago. Mm. Um, and so back in the 1990s. And so that's not far at all. And this art installation, she um, actually put out 50,000 dresses in our football stadium. And that's to represent um, war rape and the women, how they got treated when the war was going on. Okay. And just in general, women trafficking and all of that, it's a very high criminal risk in our country at the moment. So um, I've been involved in donating all of the clothes that I've worn, dresses that I've worn and that I put them up to be a part of the art installation to really just wear, just aware, just to be aware and to raise awareness of like just the madness that's going on and that it doesn't really need to be happening. So, have you managed to go back and do actual shows in Kosovo? Then? I actually have, yeah. I yeah, did. A, yeah. I shot my Shine Your Light video there about two years ago, mm -hmm. but I'm actually setting up 
a festival that I can do based around Eastern Europe because they actually don't have a festival there. So okay. I'm actually going to do something. It might not be in the middle of Kosovo, but it's definitely going to be in Eastern Europe enough for everyone to drive to. Oh, wow. And what was the, what was the reception like when you went back to like it the era mad. where you came back? How, how long was it since you've been back? Well, it's been, what, from today? No, from like, you know when you said you was there two years ago to oh, shoot yeah, a video? Yeah. I Had haven't you, been back. Oh, you hadn't been back at all? No. Wow. I've just been doing things over, okay. from over here. Okay. Um, but, you know, when I did go back, it was honestly like, oh, I felt like when Michael Jackson went to Africa. Really? Your reception you know, was crazy. It was like it's so much love, so much love, so much support. Because, you know, it's there's not a lot of us that have actually made it out there and, mm. like, spoke about our country. You know, there's not a lot of people that talk about being um, coming from a war um, country and, like, making Kosovo be on the map. So, mm. you, you know, what? I, I see that when you speak about your country, there's a sense of, like, um, I get all protective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can, <laughs> no, I can see it. I can see it. Is I that, think it's because oh, that's how we are. That's our blood. We're just really protective. Is we're that, patriotic. Is that a, a very patriotic cultural thing as well? Yeah, we're just proud. We've, we care. We take care of our family. We've been raised to look after our family and friends, and take care of our country and speak well about where we're from. Yeah, yeah. I hear that. I hear that. So listen now. 2015. 2015. You're back out there. I'm back out there. Um, I never left. You know. Don't try and make me act like, don't try and make me feel like I, I left. Just, why is she trying to bad me up this time of morning? Do you know what I mean? Why? I never left, you know. True say you've been playing my collabs. Black Widow. Have it's you only because you've got a blanket around you. Right, right. I'm going to let you off, you know. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> no, but honestly, I have been away for my you own have. personal music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've done collaborations. You've, you've seen me. I've seen you. Right. I've seen you on the panel on X Factor doing your thing. Yeah. How was that? How was that? Panel voice was amazing. Mm. We had so much fun. I yeah. mean, the experience was major. But right now, I'm just focusing on the album. On the album? Literally, yeah. Good. Any collabos on the album? Yes, there is. I'm not telling you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I'll tell you some producers and writers. Go on, then. But you'll kind of get an instinct. You'll get a vibe of where and who will collab from them. Okay. Do you know what I mean? All right. Is it, so, a guess, is it a guessing game this morning? Yes. Yeah, so we've got right, Diplo go in there. Like I said, Ed wrote amazing records for me. Uh, Pharrell. Pharrell's not on this record, but the album's not exactly closed yet, so never say never. Um, I've got a f amazing... Uh, so you lot heard the Crepton Conan remix. Yep, yep. Um, I'm very big on supporting Grime and being from where I'm from, so you're going to hear some more of that. Okay, skip time. Um... There's more oh, there's more grime artists than just Skepta, you know. We love Skepta. We but do. Why? But you're telling I'm just I'm just guessing. I love I'm Skepta, don't get me wrong. I love Boy <laughs> Better No. Shout out to them, man. But it's not even about that. It's just about London grime in general. Wicked, wicked. Just wicked. like actually holding it down for what we love. Like when you're having a two two drink and a dance and you hear a grime tune, you're gonna go off. But like, why can't people feel like that behind Main Street, you know, Main Street? That's what my thing is. That's why I'm trying to. It's the vibe. It's the vibe, it. man. It's yeah, the but vibe. don't worry because I see America right now is really starting to become obsessed with grime. Mm. I hear mm. artists asking me, "Do you have you heard of so and so?" And I'm yeah. like, "What? So he's been he's been MCing for time. What do you mean have I heard of him?" Yeah. He's like, "Really? Is he not new?" I'm like, "No." Yeah. You know, just like that. But you know, it's okay because I think grime's stronger than it's ever been right now. How different is this? Because you, you've you obviously you've seen the movement out there. I've seen the movement. How different is it compared to the movement in the UK? Like, especially with things like grime. Do you think it would take off well in, in certain, like, Atlanta and those places? Do you know what I think? I think yeah. that grime, like, Crept and Cohen have done a really good example of Freak of the Week because yeah. they mixed mustard, a very US sound. With an old school dancehall rhythm. With a dancehall rhythm, but also grimed it out. Like, their flow is English. You know what I'm saying? The flow on, on the beats, English. So I think it's just about the balance. So yeah, I don't think they won't. I think they'll get it. Rita, they're wrapping us up. Oh. Literally wrapping us up this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Literally wrapping us up. They're wrapping us up this morning. I like her vibe. Do you like her vibe this In morning, a guys? In a Thank blanket. You so Can you give much. her a round of applause, please? I like her vibes, man. Thank you. She tried to bad me up, but I defended it. I yeah, it. you did. You had your I only offered a man step. I only offered a man step this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Rita Ora in the building. Could you introduce your single this oh. morning, please? Oh, and give out your social network. Are you so playing the remix or the original? Remix. All oh, right. I'm just keeping it 100. Yeah, cool, because right, it's right. major. All right. Hey, I'm Rita Ora. Please turn it up this morning. This is the Z. Remix of Poison featuring Krypton Conan.